What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we have got a gameplay with the Diamond LeBron James card. So this card, I said if this video, or if my last video hit 500 likes, and that's on nearly 700 right now. So I will get a gameplay out with this card, and yeah, this card's a beast. So four Hall of Fame badges, Chase Down Artist, which is not the beast one to have, but Pick and Roll Maestro, Relentless Finisher, and Acrobat are really good ones. It was a 21 gold badges. Let's see, including Goal Limitless Range, which is almost as good as Hall of Fame. Goal Posterizer is a good one to have, and comes with Microwave and um, Clutch Performer, which are good ones. Uh, what other ones do you have? Defensive Anchor and Floor General are good ones to have as well. Personality Badges. So 99 in most system proficiencies, well, all of them except the Triangle. Um, but have a look at these um, stats. He's got 98 Driving Lab. He has got a 89 Open Shot Mid. He's got an 85 Open Shot 3. 90 Free Throw, 86 Ball Control. Got good defense rebound, great lateral quickness of 96, and not a great block of 52, but great steal of 93. He's got um, on ball defense like you 95, low post defense like you 75, driving dunk 95, speed 95, sweep ball 88, acceleration 92, vertical 95, strength 89, with a 95 driving and flashy dunk tendency. And the crazy thing is, is that his system proficiency in balanced at point guard, yes, point guard, he's a small forward, is 97. So Literally 97 system proficiency playing point guard. Let's see if it doesn't matter if I change Pippin, him and Pippin. No, him and Pippin are the exact same. So I'm going to start LeBron at point guard, and I may end up putting LeBron in at the three and Pippin at the one to see if the, how that goes. But yeah, so he's basically as good proficiency wise playing point guard as playing small forward as actual position. So this team we're running with LeBron James, DeMar DeRozan, Scotty Pippin, Ben Wallace, and Sam Whiteside. Basically the same team we ran with Curry yesterday. On the bench, you got Derrick Rose, James Harden, Kobe Bryant, Danny Granger, and Zadrunas Zilgowskis. We got a bronze, a silver, and Bob Pettit to round off the bench. So we're going to go over to Hot Zones for LeBron, then we're going to go into the game. So apart from the middle and the left wing, LeBron has Hot Zones literally everywhere else on the floor. Which is a surprise because, like, LeBron, he can shoot, yes, but, like, he's not the best shooter in the world. Release is different than other years. I didn't use LeBron at all last year, so it might be the same as last year's, but it's diff definitely different than it was in 2K16 and definitely way different than it was in, like, 2K15 and 2K14, where LeBron's release was just cash. But, um, yeah, not a bad release by the looks of it. Mid-range game hopefully is good. And let's have a look at his dunk packages. Well, he is LeBron, so he's going to dunk an awful lot. And his ruby has killed me. So I'm hoping that this diamond will continue to do work. And to be honest, like, there's no real point spending more than 100k on this diamond unless he comes with a three-point shoe. Because Gerald Wallace does very, very similar job. Obviously, he's not as good. But he does a very similar job to this LeBron James and is, like, 7k MT right now. So anyway, let's hit one shot. Then we get into the game. Green light. Let's go. Now we're on to the game. All right, let's see who we're playing. Not a bad team at all. He's got that Diamond Kobe, who is an absolute beast of a card. Obviously, with a shoe on him. Probably not Diamond. Um, Ryan Tesco card, Josh Smith is a beast. And Victor Oladipo is a god in this game. Let's see what his bench is like. He's got Allen Iverson, George Gervin. Thankfully, no three-point shoot. That card of three-point shoot is almost unstoppable. But, like, we should be all right. There's no reason why we should lose this game. But um, you just never know. It's 2K. So, hopefully, we can go and get the win here. And hopefully, LeBron has a good game. Attack now halfway line. Low by animation, and easy dunk for LeBron. Yeah, we need big defense from DeRozan here, because Diamond Kobe can be very dangerous. He can be really, really dangerous in this game. Right, defense. And he just basically ends Pettis' career right there. Okay, he's pushing way too far up on that. Like, you can't push that far up. That's not how... Okay, if he's going to pressure that much, I'm fine. I do not need to worry about anything in this game. The blow by animations are going to do the rest. I just have to run the straight line, and the dumb animations in this game will carry LeBron. Please set it the right way. Please set it going middle. Hit him in the corner. The three. Full white bar. And Bob Pettit nails the three. Let's go. LeBron's not only a scorer, he's a passer as well. This is LeBron James, after all. And Pettit opened the corner again from mid this time, and he nails it. You just can't deal with it. You just can't deal with that pick and roll. And that was a major inbound violation right there. I think he's in a 3-2 right now. Which means I'm going to absolutely torch him from the corners. Hit Pippin in this corner for two. And Pippin nails it. With a uh, corner three. Right back at him with Scotty. You've got to play better defense than that. Get, it, get there, get there in time. And LeBron makes the layup. All right, two-point lead at the end of the first. This is going to be a high-scoring game. Neither team can stop either team. Let's have a look at the team comparison in this game. 
I think this game is honestly going to come down to whichever team figures out the other team first. Or one major run is probably going to end this game. Three ball, Gauskas. I know Gauskas, or oh, it's a long two. It's two points anyway, better than zero. Steal. Run it, straight to the basket. Do not get blocked. Okay. Them dunk animations, it's always a risk of getting blocked. Corner three. That's quite contested. Good board. Oh, well, Gauskas, good board. Kobe for three. Bad release. And Kobe puts it in. Defense. There we go. Up 11 at halftime. Great, great first half. Okay, it's open. Three. And Scotty nails it. All right, he got back to the 3-2 zone, which is just game over for him. Oh, he left him open. It's too wide open. And he blew it. He's not going to miss many of them. We had Scotty from mid. And LeBron is just playing as a floor general. Like, 8-7. That's been solid. Solid play for LeBron. Unless he's at a three-point shoot, that's not a good shot to shoot with uh, George Gervin. He's going to expect a pass, so straight to the basket. And LeBron James at the dunk. Spit him. Oh, what a move. What a move, LeBron James. I haven't even used the uh, Ruby LeBron James yet. 97% chance. This isn't like LeBron last year, where even his uh, first diamond card couldn't shoot free throws. Okay. Wide open the corner for Granger. The three. Like, you've got to just cover that. I know I missed, but like... I've hit so many of them that you really would consider covering the three-point shot. Oh, we literally have to do. Pick a side. Oh, he's gone the man, is he? Okay, he's just not playing defense at all right now. The Harden, the three. And Harden hits the three. All right, 14-point game. One shot left to shoot. We're relatively comfortable. Do not use this screen. Or do not attack off this screen. Attack off this one here. All right, we're on the line, but seven seconds left, which means they've got a very good chance of scoring again. At least we're going to hit both of these at Derrick Rose, and if we can get a stop, we do have a 16-point lead going into the fourth. And um, who's inbounding? All right, just, just double, double, double. They're going to go quick. But defense. There we go. 16-point lead going into the fourth. Turn quick. Turn quick. Come back off that. Or blow by animation. What a dunk by LeBron. What the hell was that? I did not even mean to do that. Steal. LeBron. Throw the lob to the Rosen. And the Rosen with the dunk. Nice pat in the corner. Three. And pat it nails it after LeBron assists. 16 and 10. Double double for LeBron. Oh, it's a bad shot. And LeBron nails the three. I'll take it. 19 and 10. And Mitty, and Whiteside nails it. We're not missing anything in this game, to be fair. Like, we are not missing. I think he's just giving up all hope. He's pulling for threes now at Akeem. Oh my god, it's a 28-point game. I did not realize that. I thought it was still, like, 15. LeBron for three. And LeBron nails it. Or it's a two. 30-point game now. And he just literally throws it straight to LeBron. Who makes the easy layup. Alright. I'm going to shoot on this last possession because this guy's been just trying to dribble out the clock. So, um... For the last, like, two possessions. So, it means that I kind of really want to beat him by 40. Is that a 39? There we go. Knock these two down. Or even one of these two down. It's a 40-point game. 97% chance is the first. And LeBron hits the second. Ba two bad releases, 97% chance on each. And that is the game. We won by 41 points in the end. So let's have a look at the team comparison first. We shot 69% field and 57% from three, which is unbelievable. Both of us shot 100% from the line. And uh, how many more shots? We shot 14 more shots than they did. And his Kevin Martin at 10. LeBron at 29, only missed five shots, and three of those were three-point shots. Um, he also had 11 assists. Derrick Rhodes had 15, missed, uh, didn't miss. Bob Pettit at 14, missed one shot, and with four, four from three. Scotty Pippen missed three shots and 13. Kobe with seven, Granger with five. Did everyone score? Everyone except Ben Wallace, but Ben Wallace just wasn't needed because just for floor spacing, we need to play Pettit. 
So anyway, that's the video. This Diamond LeBron James card is an absolute beast. What pro I'm honestly what price he's going for right now. Let's see if he's in any way uh, relatively decently priced because diamond cards tend to be decent value in this game. Like 250k. Okay, let's put a diamond shoe. But um, 220k. Don't spend that much on the diamond LeBron. Just straight up, do not spend that much on diamond LeBron. When he drops down to 100k, it might be a decent pickup, and he will inevitably drop down to about 100k. Just yeah, like he's better than this card here, but he's not that much better. Gerald Wallace. Look at these two cards. Obviously, he's got the Hall of Fame badges over him, but um, post game is way better. But like, who uses LeBron James for his post game? Mid range shot a little bit better. Three point shot Wallace is better. Ball control is the same. Passing LeBron's way better. That's one thing LeBron does definitely better. But passing stats are not the most relevant thing this year, to be honest. Rebounding the same. Gerald Wallace is a better defender. Dunking very similar, only a five difference. Speed a tiny bit of an advance for LeBron, but like so similar. And this guy's 7K. Do not spend 250K on this LeBron guy. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.